You're watching Talk with Audrey? Welcome back. Of the estimated 74,000 people diagnosed with non-Hodgkin lymphoma in the U.S. each year, follicular lymphoma accounts for approximately 20% of cases. There's a new online resource available that can help patients navigate living with follicular lymphoma and select a treatment approach with their healthcare provider that best suits their needs. Hematology and oncology nurse practitioner, Sandra Curtin, and Kendra, a patient living with follicular lymphoma, join me. Um, she's going to share her experience on living with the condition and how she took charge of her treatment and found renewed energy to follow her passions. So as you mentioned, non-Hodgkin lymphoma is one type, or follicular lymphoma, excuse me, is one type of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. This is a blood cancer. It's considered to be incurable, but highly treatable. So most patients who are diagnosed with follicular lymphoma uh, live with the disease uh, throughout their lifespan. It's characterized by uh, periods of remission and, uh, and always a risk of relapse. The symptoms that are associated with it are largely due to enlarged lymph nodes. Your lymphatic system is from head to toe and you have lymph nodes throughout the body and they can be enlarged in any part of the body, which uh, is then associated with, with individual symptoms. It also can involve the, the bone marrow and the blood and uh, largely why this is called In My Blood, this campaign. So the important message there is that it's highly individual and why it's so critical to visit follicularlymphoma.com to find out more for how individual patients might experience uh, their diagnosis. Tell us more about the campaign and the website. Sure. So the In My Blood campaign, again, you can find the information at follicularlymphoma.com, has a number of resources. There are short videos provided by a video coach, uh, which is me, and this prompts people to answer questions about their individual presentation and experience of, of uh, the diagnostic process. This then will generate an individualized guide that will help the patient better uh, engage with their healthcare team in managing uh, their disease and monitoring their symptoms. There is a symptom tracker. This is really critical for patients to be able to describe the symptoms they're experiencing to their healthcare team so that we can work with them to better manage their uh, symptoms and their disease. Kendra, you're living with follicular lymphoma. What made you seek medical treatment and uh, how were you diagnosed? Um, well, I was diagnosed in the summer of 2017. Um, I was diagnosed stage four, but my doctor said that I probably had been living with it for a couple of years, symptom-free. Um, for me, the symptoms that presented were I started feeling bloated, and then I started getting this itchy feeling on my chest, and. A little while after that, I got a lump that just appeared almost overnight. And a couple weeks after that lump, a second one I could feel on my neck. And at that point, my doctor sent me in for some scans and a biopsy. And that's when we discovered that, um, that I have follicular lymphoma. It was a little shocking because I'm young and I, um, thought I was healthy and, um, I eat right and I exercise, so I certainly didn't consider myself someone who had cancer. Uh, you were really smart to recognize that you needed to seek help. Well, I tried to be proactive, and, and that's actually what um, I want to stress, is how um, it really helps for people to self-advocate. Because at first I was a little overwhelmed and I wanted to find information. And that's actually why I think this, this website and this campaign are really wonderful, follicularlymphoma.com, um, because I could have gone to this site and really found a lot of the information in one place. And then I, I could have gone to my doctor with that information and questions specifically to help be a co-partner in my treatment um, instead of just kind of running around trying to find information from a lot of different sources. And it was a little overwhelming, I have to say. Right, keep on living your life. And Sandra, because this cancer is typically incurable, what do patients need to keep an eye on? 
Well, I think that is the challenge is that it is very individualized. And, and so the, the best advice, I think Kendra does a great job in describing that is engage and be a partner in your care. And the best way to do that is to understand the disease, understand your disease and be able to talk to us uh, about the symptoms you're experiencing so that we can best work with you to manage those symptoms. So again, you can find Find out more at follicularlymphoma.com. Uh, really empower yourself uh, to be a partner in your care and live uh, with the diagnosis of follicular lymphoma. So, Kendra, you know, whenever I hear these stories, I'm always so grateful um, for the people who are willing to share their journeys because the information is really very personal. So, thank you for sharing your story with us, and Sandra, for all the facts that we need to know. Please give us that website one more time. FollicularLymphoma.com. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll be right back.